Dana 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 I got a little time to kill right now, so I'm gonna go do some squirrel hunting. Uh, we'll see what we can get. I don't know. I've seen a lot of squirrels jumping around in the trees down by the pond. So hopefully we can get a few. I keep hearing one in this tree and there's stuff dropping down constantly. So there's got to be one up here. I might stake out here just to see if I see any leaves move or something. Oh, there it is. Oh, it just moved. It's sitting still now behind those leaves. Oh my god. That's a headshot. Okay, well, that was successful. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful pelt, and since I got the rabbit just like two days ago, I'm gonna have a good old small game fry. So something really important that I did right before I went out squirrel hunting is I sighted in my gun. And that was a good thing because I needed to go up one click and right one click on the scope. And it's a good thing I did because that was the difference between missing him and hitting him square in the head. Now the way he was set up on the branch, I really could have only got him with a headshot because he was behind the branch. I don't know if you can see it on the footage or not, but he was going down the branch and I was on the back side so I couldn't see him. And then he stuck his head to the side and that's when I zeroed in on him. So it was either a miss or a headshot. So I, when I saw him drop, I knew it was an instant kill. So just make sure that you sight your gun in before you go hunting because you owe it to the animal to make a clean kill. And granted, not every shot I make is a clean kill, but I always make sure my scope is dialed in. If there's an error, it's my fault and not the scope or the guns. So that's the most that I can do is, you know, go out hunting, do my best and make sure that my equipment is performing as well as it can. So I'm just going to clean this guy up. Also, I'm gonna start doing something that I haven't seen anyone else doing, and that's live stream hunting. So, maybe this weekend, I'm also gonna be doing live streaming while I'm fishing. Follow me on Twitter because I announce all my live streams there that I'm ever gonna do, and I'm most active there. And just to clear it up, I tried live streaming before. It was in a terrible location with like no cell service, so I couldn't really live stream for I think 53 seconds. But anyways, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.